The war of words between Republicans Liz Cheney and Rand Paul started Wednesday when the senator tweeted an op-ed from the Washington Examiner that called on Cheney, a top House Republican, to stop criticizing Trump, who has said he'd like to get out of Afghanistan. Paul tweeted, I agree. Why do some neocons continue to advocate for endless wars? I stand with real Donald Trump on ending wars. Let's focus on America first, not Afghanistan. Congresswoman Cheney pushed back, tweeting, She stands with Trump and our men and women in uniform who will never surrender to terrorists, unlike Rand Paul, who seems to have forgotten that today is 9-11. Things continued to go downhill this morning, with Paul tweeting, Hi, Liz Cheney. President Real Donald Trump hears all your never-Trump warmongering. We all see your pro-Bolton blather. I'm just grateful for a president who, unlike you, supports stopping these endless wars. Then, on CNN, Paul blasted both Cheney and her father, the former vice president. They hate President Trump's foreign policy. They want to stay in Afghanistan forever. They're apologizing for John Bolton. They love John Bolton. So really, they are part of this foreign policy swamp that's been trying to undermine President Trump. And so people of Wyoming and people across the United States need to know that the Cheneys are never Trumpers. Things turned even uglier when Cheney breathed new life into a 2015 tweet from Trump himself, calling Paul, who was then his Republican presidential rival, a spoiled brat without a properly functioning brain. Cheney piled on, tweeting, no truer words were ever spoken, adding, hi, Rand Paul, I know the 2016 race was painful for you since you were such a big loser, then and now, with a dismal 4.5 percent in Iowa. No surprise since your motto seems to be terrorists first, America second. Paul swiped back, tweeting, hey, Liz Cheney, I feel like you might just be mad still about when candidate Trump shredded your dad's failed foreign policy and endless wars. Just a few minutes later, Cheney again. Weird. I don't see you on stage here, Rand Paul. Oh, right. My bad. You had already lost. She added the hashtag Weird Rand. Paul kept needling her, tweeting, While they might exist, I sure haven't heard of a war that Liz Cheney didn't want us to get involved in using his new favorite hashtag, Warmonger Cheney's. Cheney never backed down, tweeting late Thursday, Take a breath, Rand Paul. I vote with real Donald Trump 97% of the time. You have a D. Maybe sit this one out and spend some time thinking about all your anti-Trump votes. Through it all, the president stayed silent on Twitter, not offering a single tweet in response to the fighting within his own party. Randy Kay, CNN, New York.